Good morning, good morning, you guys. Welcome to my playback of some chalk and coffee <clears throat> this morning. So, um, I post my videos on my YouTube channel. So, uh, people who are not on Facebook or people who, you know, um, frequent YouTube videos can find my, my stuff. Well, I did the Darling transfer recently, and somebody who um, was watching asked a question and said, I wonder what would happen if you, um, if you chalked all of the words, oh, I have this taped, chalked all the words in white first and then only the words you wanted to do colored you went back over that with that a different color kind of so that you're not like carefully chalking especially the darling transfer which is just words and words and words and I had to be real careful and take time to do that so we are going to um good morning Annette good morning John good morning Christina and Jessica we're going to try that today because I've actually never tried doing that. So I'm just going to use a small transfer. And <clears throat> our love story is my favorite. And I'm hoping it works. It was a great idea um, from one of my YouTube subscribers. So we're just going to see. And, and my thought is what may happen, and this is a well-loved transfer, so I did not fuzz it. Should be fine. Yeah, totally fine. It is well-loved, which means it is not as sticky as it was in the very, very beginning. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure to have no bubbles. So we're just gonna try this new technique and see if it works. Uh, so I chose the colors white and Nantucket. And I'm excited to see how it turns out. If you are in my Chalk Nation, um, this is one of my awesome porcelain steel boards that I have um, in my group. There are sale prices, so you'll have to be a member to check out the sale prices. Um, so that's interesting. So after I chalk this, this piece is for sale and you can wash it off and redo whatever you want to do on it. Um, so this is pretty thick, so I'm feeling like a squirt of water to loosen it up a little. That's gonna do, that's great right here. And my white, pretty thick as well. So I just give it a little water um, and then start kind of swirling that. I hope you guys all have your coffee because, who? So I, my husband and I watched a movie last night. We watched Sully. Have you guys ever watched that? Oh my gosh, it was so good. I felt so bad for him during that movie. Um, you know the the airline pilot who landed the airline in the Hudson River, in New York. Oh my gosh. They were trying to blame the whole like. Oh, it was it was a sad movie. I felt bad for him. Plus, I love Tom Hanks, and so. Then it made me feel even worse because it was Tom Hanks. So, gotta have some coffee. Let's get our white on here. So we're just gonna go over the whole thing pretty quickly. And gosh, I guess I could use my big gut, my big, let me try this. If we do the white, it'll probably be way faster 
even though it's only an eight and a half or an eight by 11 transfer, um, if I use my big guy right here. So let me just finish cleaning it off. Sometimes I wipe them off and then, um, or I set it aside and I didn't clean it well enough, but let's use this big guy to spread the white. Then you'll see how quick and easy it actually is. Just get it all off of my little squeegee there. Just kind of picking up white onto my big squeegee. And you can change directions like this so it goes pretty quick. And you know, we'll see if this doesn't work. Well, I have a feeling what's going to happen is it's just going to mute the color of the blue that I actually am putting on my um, love story. All right, so if I scrape this, then my O feels like my O needs a little more. Okay. So then I scrape this and we just go in and do love story with that other color. We're gonna try that. See how it works. Hi Robin. Hi Michelle. Hi Susanna. Oh, Susanna, he did. He like totally, totally, totally. Oh, he was so smart. I just love a story where people are smarter than the jerks who are trying to bring him down. So I'm going over this with the um, Nantucket color, and I feel like it's just kind of sitting, like it's not really, the idea is good, but I feel like I have to go over it several times to add the color. Um, so I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. I don't think, well, it's definitely not gonna be as dark as the original color is. And I also have created kind of a new color and so I can't put this back into my transfer, my container. I have quite a bit. So I'm going to, I have an empty lid over here. I'm gonna put it here and maybe I can use it again for something else. So I'm just going to kind of clean up the lines and then we'll do our peel and reveal to see how that worked. Grab my corner over here. Yeah, it, so it totally, it definitely changed the color. I love it. It marbled a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. I have a tiny piece right here that I'm going to clean. And then I like to do this every once in a while because I get new people watching and I wanna remind everyone how to take care of your transfers and um, your um, everything else. So this looks really good. I, I actually like it. I would definitely do a dark color. I wouldn't do two light colors. Um, it did kind of marble and blend. So it looks good. I'm gonna set it aside and I'm going to show you um, what you're gonna do, how you're gonna clean your transfer. Um, so I like to do step by step every once in a while to remind everybody. So I just put this in a bath of water and I'm using my hands to clean the chalk off as much as I can. Uh, a lot of times when I'm doing a project, if I'm using more than one transfer, I'll put the transfer in the water and then I will um, keep working and I'll just keep adding transfers into the water until I'm totally done. Then it's kind of safe in here for a little while. Now you never ever wanna leave your transfer in the water for an extended amount of time. You would never soak it overnight or, you know, for hours because um, 
the water can can work on the uh, stickiness on the other side. So now I'm just finishing getting, and remember, this is an older, really well-loved transfer. So it has staining, staining that, you know, I couldn't prevent at the time, but I did hear a trick, and I don't know if it will work now, but I, I saw a trick that if you use a matte Mr. Clean eraser on your staining, that it would take it off. Oh, and it does, it absolutely does. So staining does not in any way affect your transfer. It's just the look of it. So if you are one of those people who doesn't like to have anything stained, you can just clean the top of your transfer like this with a magic eraser. What a great tip that I'm giving you today. I had never tried it before, but I heard that looks good to me. I'm not too picky and I don't want to take up a lot of time cleaning. So I'm going to use my um, Clorox wipe, whatever brand you use. I use Members Mark. It's from Sam's Club. I go over that and then one thing that, especially if you're using transfers over and over, um, you're going, you can take a towel or a washcloth and just go right over that and it's like you're drying, okay? So we've cleaned it, now I'm slightly drying it and if you're gonna use it again, it'll help speed the drying process. I'm gonna flip this over, this is my non-stick mat so um, I can stick it down and it just peels right up. I'm gonna flip it over and clean this side now and Here's my wipe, and I'm just kind of rubbing over it. It helps the sticky come back, so that's good. I know this has been fuzzed before because I can see that there's still a little bit of fuzz on there, and that's probably why I didn't have to fuzz it today. Anyway, so that's in good shape, and then you can you can leave this here to dry, upside down, sticky side up, or you can put it on. I have these little drying racks. They're just like a cookie. Um, I'll show you. So this is what I have. And I feel like it just um, dries it pretty quickly because the air can get underneath and on top. Or um, another thing, they have those dish drying mats. They're like a fabric. Um, foam like a quick drying and I also use those so it's like you just again sticky side up lay it on that mat and let it dry that's if you don't need to use it again if you need to use it again um, I just do this until the sticky side is is dry and then you can use it again now after this is completely done hi Stephanie hi Lori hi Sharon hi Dawn hi Robin again oh goodness I'm looking at all the people that I miss. Um, so after it's dry, and mine is not dry, so I just want to show you. After it's dry, you take your um, your mat or your uh, tra uh, gosh, your sticky your. I don't even know the word this morning. You take your backing, and you put it on it, and you press it down, and then you put it back in your packaging. People ask me how I store my stuff. I put it right back in the packaging. All of our packages have like a little hang hook and I just hang them. People have used like towel bars or just hooks. You can put hooks um, on a wall or something and just hang them. That's what I do. Other people um, kind of collect them in binders. You know, there, there's a few different ways. But anyway, so thank you for watching. I'll bring this back up. I know somebody said you need some red hearts and um, that would be cute, but I'm very simple this morning and I just wanted to do the technique of that color to see how it would work if I did all white and then went back over with one color. All right, thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday and stay warm.